Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to another song review and happy Easter if you celebrate. Today is Easter. I'm recording this at nine o'clock at night. So hopefully YouTube doesn't give me any problems and this can go up tonight. If you don't celebrate Easter, I hope you had a good day. Nonetheless, today we're going to be listening to Temple of the Dogs, Call Me a Dog. It was the winner of last week's poll. I will pop it in here and I will remember to pop it in here. I did this last week and then when I was uploading it, I watched it and I did not pop it in. <laughs> so it is here. Editing Nikki, you remember that. But yeah, I'm really excited to listen to more Temple of the Dog. I have really been enjoying Chris Cornell's voice and I want to hear more of it. So yeah, let's pop our headphones on and turn it up. And here we go. Call me a dog Well, that's fair enough Cause it ain't no use To pretend you're wrong I hope this version's okay To see album I can't hide I know you guys said album versions were really good for other songs. you beautiful if I call it all I have the lyrics up by the way you tell me I'm because Like right there, you threw me out. I really like how that sounded. I came home with a hand. Oh, no. Oh, it's my time to throw the next star. I'll call you beautiful. I know I said this last time. But it kind of gives me like more of like an 80s. Oh, I don't know who I'm thinking of. Kind of like a cozy, comforting sound to it. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Interesting guitar sound. So good. I wish I was watching somebody play this right now. Mike McCready, right? 
think. Interesting. A little piano at the end there. Hmm. Okay, so really quick, what popped in my head when I was listening to this? I know I keep saying like 80s, and this might be completely wrong, and I don't, I'm not 100% sure who sings this. Hold on. Okay, <laughs> this is very weird. I don't even know who sings this. Is it Dobie? This Dobie Gray, is that how you pronounce that? Drift Away, like that kind of vibe. Like that song, I feel that in, in, what was the last song I listened to? I have to look. So many songs I record and listen to, I forget. Say Hello to Heaven. It gives me that kind of vibe too. Kind of like an 80s rock, but like a slower just more relaxed sound to it. And I like that. I like that sound, but it's like a familiar sound, if that makes sense. But with a little more rock to it, a little more grit, I want to say, with his vocals, which are so unique. But that's the kind of sound that I think of when I I've been listening to them lately. Not so much with Hunger Strike, but with Say Hello to Heaven and Call Me a Dog. That's kind of the, the vibe that pops in my head. Maybe I'm totally wrong. I don't know. You guys can let me know. But I looked at the lyrics from songmeanings.com, one of my favorite websites to go to just to see what other people say about this. And a lot of people just browsing it are saying what I'm already thinking, that it's about two people in a relationship one person loves the other, but can't get over certain events in their past. You know, I think it's about a couple when one person treats the other as low and complain about him all the time, but the other one doesn't care since he loves her so much. That's pretty much what I get from it. There's one person that says it's about a heroin dealer who sells heroin to a friend and how they hate him because they're hooked. You say it's bad luck to have fallen for me. What can I do to make good for you? I don't get that. That's fine, because everybody can get what they want from it. But I just think it's about a relationship, you know, where he treats her bad, and he's a dog. <laughs> but he loves her, and he wants to try to make it right, even though he doesn't change. That's what I get from it. But, yeah, this was a good one. Like I said, this his sound is so unique, and I'm, I'm sure I would feel the same if I listened to more Soundgarden or even just Chris Cornell's solo stuff. And it's crazy that this band existed so long ago, and I'm now just getting into them. But I love it because I get to experience it with you guys and people that are fans of the band. You know, some people said that they've been listening to them since they came out, and just the song brings back memories from that time for them. And it's just really cool to actually get to talk with other people in the comments about these songs that are like brand new to me. <laughs> so yeah, this was a good one. I can see why it was the winner, but I will end this one here. Let me know what I should put in the poll tomorrow. Like I said last week, I do have a rule where I don't like to put the same band in the poll back to back because, well, after three times. Three times is the limit because I want to give other bands a chance and rotate things and just make it fair and more interesting. So you guys can let me know who I should put in the poll. 
if you want to stick with the same type of sound. I know some of you have already suggested bands that you think I would like, so I'll definitely be pulling from the list, but if there's any more, please let me know in the comments and maybe they'll make the poll tomorrow. Hopefully this video goes up today. Hopefully YouTube doesn't fail me <laughs> with that, but yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and participating in this. I love that I get to learn it along with you guys. I really do. I'm not just saying that. It's really fun to to listen to listen to a song and have somebody else listen to it with me. And usually it's people that already know it and you could tell me facts about the band, about the song, about what you were doing. Like somebody said that they go skating to hunger strike. I read that one today. Some people say like, you know, I listened to this song, you know, when I was in high school or when I was in college and it's just fun to get to hear other people's memories of a song. I really like it. All right, guys, I will stop rambling and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.